sorry about this deception, Ryan, but we knew it was the only way we'd get our guest of honour to attend this ceremony. Ceremony? In recognition of your recent bravery, I'm very proud on behalf of Rotary to present you with this Community Service Award. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You, you knew about this? Well, Beyonce has been out a few secrets. Oh, thank you. I thought he was going to make a run for it. I would have caught him and cuffed him if he'd tried. <laughs> sure doesn't like to blow his own trumpet, does he? No. Uh, saved it for you. The last one. Bribery is not going to save you, Pat. It's not bribery. I just know they're your favourite. Someone's in the doghouse. What'd you do? I haven't done anything. Now is not the time. No. For the front no, no, uh, thank you. I don't, I don't have time for this. I'm sorry. Sweetie, what's wrong? It looks like you might need those handcuffs after all. Ryan, you're not leaving. No, I've got to get back to work. I've got two more deliveries to make today. Surely they can wait. I mean, there's a whole hall full of people here who want to show their admiration. Yeah, and I appreciate it. But to tell you the truth, I don't like all the fuss. The town needs its heroes. I'm no hero. Anyone would have done what I did. He's my shy hero. No, I'm not really. Please. I've got to go. No, I don't mean to be rude or anything. Sure. Look out! Jesus! You all right? Pick up, Derek. I know you're there. Right this way. Do we have to go through all this? I'm fine. Of course we do, Ryan. The idiot nearly killed you. Yeah, come on through. Boss, you OK? We yes, do... I'm still in one piece. Yeah, almost one piece. It... PJ! Yeah, um, do you want me to fill out a 47? You said Derek was a good builder. I said he does Typically good for your generation. You can have it mended for me. PJ, you know what uh, builders are put out a general alert on, on that white right panel van and, and uh, then go and take a statement from Chris at the pub. Detective, I mean, you're living in the place. I'm always at work. I'm nothing. PJ! I was in the middle of something, boss. Yes, well, that can wait. Wait. Nothing works. Detective Hashem, this is Ryan Carter. Hey, you're the guy that fished the little girl out of the river. Yeah. He didn't just fish her out of the river. He revived her, drove her to the hospital and then wouldn't even give his name. Oh, I hear you're a bit of a footy star as well. I don't know about that. You take a seat, Ryan. It sounds like you've got builder problems. <laughs> don't get me started. I used to be in the trade. Did he leave any equipment on site? Oh, power tools, ladders, and the works. Lock them away. What? Yeah. What? Kidnap his tools? Yeah, he usually speeds things up. If we could just get onto the hit and run. Ah, oh, look, that was just an accident. That car was headed directly for you. Well, maybe the driver took their eyes off the road. Oh. So, how long have you been in town? Well, not long. A year. Now, Mount Thomas has been good to me. Yeah. Even engaged to a local girl. Ryan and Brooke Anderson are going to be married. Ah, nice girl. So, no enemies? No, I, look, I just run the one truck. Uh, prices are reasonable. I make my deliveries on time. I've had no complaints. <laughs> I, I, I'm not the kind of guy who makes enemies. Well, someone's got it in for Golden Boy. Nobody's got a bad word to say about him down at the footy club. Yeah, but you only have to kick straight to be popular down there, but... Well, he's rubbed someone the wrong way. Mount Thomas Police. I Inspector. Um, he, he's just stepped out, actually. Uh, he's um, just stepped back in. I'll take it in my office. If you wouldn't mind having a look around, see what you can find. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll come with you. Not you, Parrish. You're with me. Sit. Yes, sir, I understand. Yes, yes, I will have a stern word to the member involved. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. The inspector has recommended that I give you an admonishment. Why? Oh, come on, Parrish. Do you know how long I've been trying to put Jaffa Bennett away? A long time. Since before you got here. And then just when we have him in our hands, you, you let him slip through your fingers. It wasn't my fault. You had him in custody. Why didn't you just bring him straight back to the station? Well, he got... Talking about how long he'd be away and how his old mum was sick. I just... His poor old mum, eh? Yeah. <laughs> this would be the same poor old mum who actually died 20 years ago, would it? Well, how was I supposed to know that? Jaffa played you like a harp, Parrish. Spun you a yarn about his poor old mum. Next thing you know, he's goodbye. legging it up the laneway. If I know Jaffa, he's in a pub somewhere right now boasting about how his poor dead mum still gets him out of trouble with the coppers. Well, isn't it just good... 
country policing to give people a fair go? Not when it's Jaffa Bennett. No, it's not. Well, all I did was give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> if caring too much gets you an admonishment around here, then you'd better give me one. Who said I was going to give you an admonishment? Rusty said... That... The inspector recommended that I give you an admonishment. How I deal with it is up to me. Now, I think we might start with a cup of tea. You know how I take it. So now I've got the boss and Rusty on my back. Any little slip-up and I'm looking down the barrel at an admonishment. Ouch. So I'm going to do everything by the book from now on. If that's what they want, that's what they're going to get. No more being played for a sucker. I'm not even going to listen to people's sub stories anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, someone else can be the soft copper from now on. I'm going to be the tough cop. <laughs> Joe, you're scaring me. Hmm. It's a white panel van. Well, it matches the description from the hit and run. It's a woman. Oh, a woman in a hurry. Mount Thomas 208 to VKC, coming up in pursuit of a white panel van, Rego, November, India, Charlie, 017. Yeah, don't even bother, she's turning into a dead end. Mount Thomas 208 to VKC, delete that reference. Tell me why you didn't stop when instructed? Oh, I didn't see you. Can I see your license, please? So is that your baby? Yeah. Is that a crime? Cherry Walton. Is your current address? What do you reckon? Well, you're a long way from Nell. So? We're going to have to ask you to come down to the station and answer some questions regarding an Great. attempted hit and run. Look, thanks heaps. I only just got him off to sleep. Well, if you step out of the vehicle, we'll take you down to the station. No, I'm not going anywhere. Not until I feed him. Uh, yeah, of course. Sorry. Well done, tough cop. Derek, it's Patrick Ash in here. You can't just drag me in here like this. Boss, this is Cherry Walton. She was driving the vehicle involved in the hit and run. I don't know what you're talking about. And who's this? His name's yes, Ashley. Well, perhaps one of our constables can entertain Ashley while you have a chat with our detective. Mm. Fine with me. Detective Hasham. Yeah, I'm coming, boss. Uh, if you'd like to come and wait yeah, in here. So, um, when you get this message, give me a call. Oh, hey, little fella. Hey, that Jones charm works every time. Hey, how do you feel, kid? Oh, you recommend my Where were you at two o'clock this afternoon? I don't really remember. Anywhere near the old town hall? After lunch, I, I tried to get Ashley to have a sleep. And where was that exactly? I don't know, some park. Can anyone confirm this? No, it was just the two of us. Do you want to go to your son? No, no, I'll be right, eventually. Do you know a Ryan Carter? Who? Ryan Carter. I don't know anyone by that name. Well, someone in a white panda van tried to run him down. Well, you, you know, there was something strange. When I got back to my car after lunch, it was parked in a different spot. Like someone had stolen it. Right, and the car was stolen just long enough for the thief to attempt to hit run. Uh, sorry to interrupt. You got a second? Excuse me. How old is he? Four months. You got kids? Me? No. You're lucky. Yeah, it must be hard work. I haven't slept more than two hours at a stretch since the night he was born. Now, you've been in trouble with the police before, haven't you? Just the small matter of you being the prime suspect in a murder case. <laughs> Jerry Walton's boyfriend, Tim Lewis, right, he went missing a year ago. Now, the night before he died, they had this huge fight. Now, the next morning, his car turns up, abandoned on the highway, blood all over the front seat. No sign of Tim. Lots of people have rows with their partners. It doesn't turn them into murderers. Yeah, well, in her case, it might be in the genes. Swan Hill CI reckon that her brother's a big-time dope grower and they've had his place under surveillance for months. She's not a murderer. 
just trying to run someone down. She, she, she's a sleep-deprived woman who's at the end of her tether. Oh, take him back to his mum. Oh, you people hear this phone. Mount Thomas Police, Senior Sergeant Croydon speaking. How did you do Yes, bro. I've got no idea. Well, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Yeah, all right, I'll get somebody over there as soon as possible. Oh, it's Brooke Anderson. Ryan Carter's been assaulted again. Yeah, I'll go. No, I'll go. I'll give my eardrums a bit of a rest, I think, and I'll take Jones. Oh. Thank you. He's over here. This, this is unnecessary. He threw you against a truck. Did you know this person? No, I've never seen him before. He said he wanted money. So he's trying to rob you? Well, he told me to hand over my wallet. I told him where to get off. And uh, that was the end of it? He ran away when I pulled up. Look, he didn't get away with anything, all right? I think the police have got better things to do with their time. Can you describe your attacker? Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a blur, actually. Well, was he in his 20s? His 50s, tall, short? Uh, can't really say. Um, 20s, maybe? He would have been about your height, Mr Hashem. Uh, medium build, short ginger hair, unshaven and a ruddy complexion. Anything else? Um, he was wearing a flannelette shirt with red checks. Uh, my brother used to wear them all the time. They're really warm. Um, and jeans and boots, blunnies. The black ones, though, not the brown ones. Her memory's a hell of a lot better than his. That could just be shock. He's been through a lot today. Yeah, but even so, boss. Shh. Look, he comes face to face with this bloke and he can't remember a thing. Well, one thing's for sure. It wasn't Cherry Walton. Well, that doesn't clear her of the hit run. Come on, PJ. Two separate people ever got the same guy on the same day. Look, what are you, the chances? You believe a story about the car being stolen? Well, why not? I mean, no one can confirm who was driving it. Yes, when you also believe Jaffa Bennett. Well, that, that was different. I'm still going on the evidence. <laughs> so I can go? <sighs> yeah, for now. Oh, back to Mum. <laughs> Thanks. You know, you're about the only other person I'll shut up for. Uh, little bugger. He's got your eyes. Always thought he looked more like his father. So, um, what are you going to do now? Oh, I don't know. I mean, when I got in the car, I just wanted to get away from Neil, you know? Just drive, leave it all behind. Coppers hassle me and everything. But I guess it's time to go back. Have you got anyone to help you or anything then? No, no one. Well, you know, not since Tim. There's a photo book of offenders I'd like you to take a look at. You bastard! Hey! Ryan! Ryan, my ass! That's Tim Lewis! He's the man I'm supposed to have killed back in Mill. I don't know what she's talking about. That's when he disappeared. As soon as I told him I was up the duff. So, Ryan... Sorry, Tim is Ashley's father. And that's what you're fighting about the night before he disappeared? Yeah, I thought he'd be happy. But no, right away he starts yelling about how he's going to support a kid and how he's not ready. I guess I just lost it. I started shouting back at him. And the next morning he was gone? Well, yeah, and the pigs were on my doorstep first thing. Um, sorry. I'm yeah, um... sorry. Well, I mean, they'd found Tim's car and they saw all that blood and then they found out from the neighbours that we'd been fighting and... And they put two and two together. Yeah, and got five. They've been on my back ever since saying I killed him. I mean, they had no evidence, but that didn't stop them. And every couple of weeks they dragged me out to Swan Hill and they, and they asked me again and again, where's the body? Where'd I hide it? So what brought you to town? Well, I found this... In paper. Sure it's the same man? Yeah, of course I'm sure. But why didn't you go to the police? Well, I needed to see for myself. Make sure it was him. And um, now you're sure? Dead set. Well, so have you got a photo of this Tim Lewis? Yeah. Oh. See, it's him. There's a bit of a resemblance, but... I don't know, he might be a bit thinner now, but... Look, I've never even been to Neil. Hang 
on one moment. This crazy woman turns up out of nowhere, assaults Ryan, and now you want to take her seriously. Brooke, we have to check her story. She claims that this Tim Lewis character She's mad. She faked must his be. own death. Look, Brooke, it's okay. I want her charged with assault. Uh, no, this woman, whoever she is, she's she's just made a mistake, okay? And as if you'd have anything to do with a woman like that anyway. <laughs> Look, um, if you want to see some identification, I, I got I got a bank statement here, um, credit card, both with my name on it, um, uh, and my driver's license um, with photo. Yes, well, these appear to be in order. Boss. Ryan Carter checks out. He's on the electoral roll, putting the tax return. Well, he wouldn't be the first person to get a hold of forged documents. He also wouldn't be the first person to be falsely accused. Well, what do we know about him? Where's he from? I don't know. He's never seen. Well, how do we know he's not this Tim Lewis? Could be playing you like a harp. All right, Parrish. What do you suggest? I was born and bred in Evanley. Any family there? Um, an only child, so no, just my parents. And uh, what's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> Look, is this really necessary? If you wouldn't mind. My mother's maiden name was Sullivan. And their phone number? My parents died 12 years ago. But you say you lived in Evanley before moving here. Whereabouts in Evanley? Down Delgetty Street. What, uh, near the post office? Uh, near to where the post office used to be, anyway. Um, they closed the old one down four to five years ago. Now it's a tiny shop in the mall. You, know, you go there to buy a stamp and you have to line up for ten minutes. The old post office is a cafe now where the uh, public servants drink their lattes at three bucks a pop. Is there anything else you'd like to ask? I'm afraid his story checks out. Is it possible you've made a mistake? The only mistake I made was thinking you'd be different from the other cops. God, I should have killed that bastard when I had a chance. Are you admitting attempting to run him down? I just wanted him to come back to Neil to tell the truth. But then I spotted him and I just lost it. Next thing I knew, I was driving straight for him. Yeah. Cherry Walton, you'll be charged with conduct endangering persons. Will I get bail? Telling you, Jonesy, you try and help someone. Suddenly it's all your fault. Yet the only thing you've done is believe in them. You can only back your own judgment. Do that. Not unless you want to end up responsible for every brick that turns up late. What? I mean, any normal person would have let PJ find his own builder, but not. Nah, I'd help him out as a mate. Be Mr. Nice Guy. PJ? Yeah. Who are you talking about? Cherry. BKC to me, Thomas 208. Now, Thomas 208 receiving. Report on some type of domestic at lot 77 Old Ridge Road. Receive that BKC, we're on our way. I don't know any Tim Lewis. His name's Ashley. Your name is Ryan Carter. He's got your so can you eyes please move the car? And your nose. Look at Look, him. This is ridiculous. Look at him. You're crazy. Can you oh, move your car? On, just move so it. Much to ask. Step away, Why Cherry. Just get back in the car and move it. She's now. in the way. I, can't, I just I can't, want I can't him to look at his own child. Can't you do something? Can't you see how much he looks like you? Can you can you move her out of the way, please? I will go when he looks at his son. Are you, you going to help or not? God, just one look, please. Come. That's all I'm asking, and I'll get off your back. See? See, he can't. But it sounds like a fair enough request, Mr Carter. Why don't you just look at the This baby? is ridiculous. I don't have time for this. What, what's the harm? Just hey, look, look at it. If she doesn't move the car, I'm going to get him on truck and run her off the road. You know what? I'll move the car. You're your own worst enemy pulling a stunt like that. Look, it's his own flesh and blood. I thought if he at least got a good look at him... Yeah, well, you can forget about that. My boss is pressing Ryan to take out an intervention order. Oh, what do I care? Well, you should care. You're in enough trouble as it is. What difference does it make? Nobody believes yeah, me well, anyway. I believe you, OK? You? Yes. You believe me? Yeah, but it doesn't count for anything if no-one else believes you. Well, well, what do we do now? For a start, I need you to help me. No more flying off the handle and no more hassling Ryan or... Tim, whatever his name is. All right, yeah, whatever you say. Look, we need someone else who can back up his story. Someone who knows Tim Lewis as Tim Lewis. I mean, did he ever mention where he came from? Uh, no, I didn't mention it. Said he moved around a lot. Well, what about his parents? Did you meet them? No, both dead. Brothers, sisters? Only child. 
Let's assume for the moment that you are right. I am right. Sorry. And that would mean that Tim Lewis got his hands on ID papers belonging to Ryan Carter, right? How? Stolen? And theft would have been reported. Think about it. Ryan Carter puts in a tax return. Now, he wouldn't have done that if he thought the real Ryan Carter lodged one. So the real Ryan Carter must be dead, which means there'll be a record of his death. On the other hand, maybe Ryan Carter is who he says he is, and Cherry Walton really did kill her fiancé. I oh, better hope she didn't. Wouldn't want to murder her staying the night. That's right, Ryan Aaron Carter. Yep. Um... Joe, maybe, maybe I just didn't hear you right, but it was something about Cherry staying the night at our place. Do you mind? What's up? Yes. Joe, has a driver, Cherry Walton, stayed the night at our house? Well, look on the bright side. Maybe we can put her to work hanging a few doors for us since nobody else seems to be doing it. Well, there's no record of any deaths under a Ryan Carter of a relevant age. Joe, tell me... You didn't invite her to stay the night at our house. You can't expect them to stay in the van. They have managed so far. It's my house. Uh, Parrish, have you arranged accommodation with Ms Walton yet? Uh, yeah, yes, I have. Thanks yeah. heaps for this. Look, there's um, there's some formula in the bag. Yeah, so? And uh, you'll probably need some more nappies to get you through the night. Oh, no, but, um, no, no, I, I look, didn't mean... you are just a lifesaver. Uh, oh, yeah, but... This is not what I meant. I said she looked like she could do some rest. Yep, nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> you need a hand there? Uh, yeah. Here we go. Could you sterilise it, Bonnie? You have to sterilise it? Yeah, of course you do. Ow, 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 ow. Where's the scoop? You run your hands under cold water. I'll do this. Here you go. Meet your Uncle PJ. Nearly ready, actually. Stinky, stinky. Parish, where's the mother? Oh, well, she's supposed to be about half an hour ago. Probably done a runner. She should be here. She must be running late. Yeah, well, this isn't a child-minding centre. Parish? It isn't a child-minding centre. You got something? No, it's just Ryan Carter's birth certificate. I'm not still on about that. Well, I'm just checking a few things. It says here his parents were born just in England. Pond. How exactly is that relevant? Well, maybe they went back home. I mean, it'd explain why there's no record of their death. That was Brooke Anderson. What, not Ryan again? He's gone. I need you to find him. If anything has happened, just calm down, Brooke. Yeah, but Ryan is missing. OK, how long's he been gone? He left for work early this morning. What, what time? About six. Well, that's not really long enough to say that he's missing. Have you called him? All morning on his mobile, but he keeps on diverting to voicemail. OK, well, you know what the coverage is like out here. No, you don't understand. He was supposed to be at a doctor's appointment at nine. The doctor's? Why? We had an appointment with an obstetrician. Last night I told Ryan we were going to have a baby. What were his plans this morning? Uh, he had to catch up on deliveries. And what time did he leave? First thing. Uh, I was still half asleep when he left. He said that he'd meet me at nine. And then he you know, leaned over and kissed me and told me he loved me. And he said how happy he was about the baby. Well, did you notice if he took any of his belongings with him? Did he pack a bag, for instance? Why would he need a bag? He's only going to work. Well, maybe if he thought he wasn't coming back. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't leave me. No, something has happened. It's the man that assaulted him yesterday. 
We'll find him. And all the uh, running sheets go on file. Yeah, they do when the breakdowns go to headquarters. Normally the sergeant's supposed to do all this, but the naughty people at headquarters, they haven't sent me a sergeant. No, they haven't. Uh, Cherry hasn't turned up yet. No, if she doesn't show up soon, you're going to have to contact DHS. Ah, uh, there you go. I know. Yeah, uh, well, it looks like um, Tim Lewis has left another pregnant woman in the lurch. Brooke's pregnant? Yeah, she broke the news last night, then first thing this morning. He said he had to go and make some deliveries, and that's the last she saw of him. How long has he been gone? Oh, only a couple of hours. You're sure you're not jumping the gun? Yeah, well, what about missing the doctor's appointment? Well, what about it? Maybe he forgot. Oh. He's a bloke. Come on. Whereabouts was he supposed to be making these deliveries? All right, thanks for your help. You gonna make any of these calls or what? Yeah, well, I've kind of got my hands full here. Sorry I'm late. Oh, oh thank God you're back. People were beginning to take bets that you'd be halfway to Queensland by now. Booked into the caravan park and out like a light. Uh, 14 hours only. Just woke up. Now, how's my little fella, huh? Have you been good? Have you been good? I bet you have. You might have been right about Ryan Carter. Hmm? Well, a couple of the people on the list didn't answer, but from what I can tell, he didn't make any of his deliveries. Uh, Joe, it's for you. Department of Immigration. Ryan Carter left Australia in 1989. Are you sure it's not a different Ryan Carter? Born on the same day, mother's maiden name Sullivan. And guess who is best friends with at Evanley High? Tim Lewis. Terry Walton was right about him. And I was right about her. All right, Parrish, don't skite. I'm just saying sometimes it pays to get involved. So this Ryan Carter, or whoever he is, has taken in half the town, myself included. And Brooke Anderson is head over heels in love with him, <laughs> not to mention pregnant. Someone's going to have to give her the bad news. We're going to get married and have a baby. He told me he loved me. We were going to spend the rest of our lives together. I'm so sorry. What's going to happen to the baby? Joe, there's been a sighting of the truck. Uh, Here we go. Oh, you want to see the tough cop in action? Which I deal with the so-called Ryan Carter. This one the year, then, eh? Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Would you step out of the truck, please? What's that? Who the hell are you? I wasn't even speeding. Never heard of any Ryan Carter. Oh, funny that, since you were driving his truck. What about Tim Lewis? Ever heard of him? Well, while we're talking names, I believe we didn't quite catch yours. Well, we're going to find out sooner or later. Someone matching your description assaulted Ryan Carter yesterday. Now, he's disappeared. And you've turned up driving his truck. Where are you heading? Oh, I'd say you're driving west. Oh, wouldn't have been heading to Nil by any chance. Any idea how he fits into Ryan Carter's disappearance? Well, we know he assaulted him, maybe he took it further. Yeah, but why? Not exactly talkative. It is possible that he did just steal the truck. I mean, if Ryan Carter's skipped town, he's hardly likely to report it missing. Or maybe they're working together. What if it was a diversion? This clown takes the truck west, knowing that we're going to pick him up. All the while, Ryan Carter's going east. Well, it's possible, I suppose. We're very quiet. They know each other from nil. Do you mind telling us what you're talking about? See, I knew I'd seen him before. They're in the background. Huh? Ah. You could even be Cherry's brother. Cherry's drug-dealing brother? That's just the description I was given. So what's he doing here? I'd say he's helping out his sister. Helping her do what? Cherry has a score to settle. Darren, where's Tim Lewis? Hello. But he just gave you the keys to his truck and went merrily on his way. Hmm? Was Cherry in on this? 
In on what? You haven't got anything on me. What about stealing the truck? Well, I don't hear the owner complaining. For all you know, he gave it to me. It's very generous of him. You know Tim Lewis very well? He was engaged to my sister. Until he dumped her. Well, Cherry's a big girl. She can look after herself. That must have made you pretty angry. Especially after you gave him a leg up in the family business. Well, now I know what you're talking about. A shed full of dope. Ring any bells. Well, the Swan Hill cops raided me. They never found any dope. Yeah, and at the same time, Tim turns up in town with a new truck and a new identity. Now, he ripped you off, didn't he? Oh, he paid me back now. Manning? What have you done to him, Darren? How am I supposed to have killed a bloke who's already dead? Right. Thanks very much. Ryan Carter paid cash for his truck six months ago. How much? Forty grand. Huh. About what Darren's dope is worth. So this is about Darren getting ripped off. Nothing to do with Cherry. Tim Lewis faked his own death and left her holding the baby. She's got to want him dead. No, she wanted justice. One and the same thing. Yeah, no. She might see it that way. Look, she's got too much at stake. A k kid to look after. You mean the one she left us with last night? Look who I found. I don't get it. What's all this about? Got to do it 120 on the highway. Anxious to get out of town, were you? Where's your fiance? The engagement's off. So that could mean you gave the ring back or he's lying dead on the side of the road somewhere. No, hang on, I didn't kill him. We've already proven that, haven't we? We proved you didn't kill him a year ago, Nell. Well, what are you saying? It's happened again. Oh, my God, it has. Well, well why don't you ask what's her name? Brooke. Well, Brooke hasn't already made an attempt on his life and Brooke's brother wasn't driving his truck. Darren? Oh, look, I had nothing to do with any of that. Of what? Dope growing. I got nothing to say. Your first attempt to kill Tim didn't work, so you set your brother onto him. No. Come on, we know you're in this together. <sighs> I'm not in anything. Gosh, it's just like Swan Hill all over again. I thought you believed me at least. I don't know what to believe anymore. Cherry, you're already on bail. So if you don't cooperate, it could be rescinded. Okay, you'll be spending the night in St David's lock up then. <clears throat> Roman's no place for Ashley. Oh yeah, well it can't be any worse than the back of the panel van. She'll be okay. Yeah. So. It was her choice. You did what you could. And I was looking after a baby. It'd be so oh, full please on. Please not talk about babies. We've had no time for ourselves. Hey. Sorry. What is... I just can't believe she's a murderer. If Tim Lewis, or wherever he is, is anywhere in the state, he's keeping a very low profile. Either that or he's pushing up daisies. Yeah, or he's done another disappearing act and he's lying low. About six feet low, well, no one's seen him. Well, look, there are a few people on his delivery list who didn't answer the phones. I mean, the least we could do is go out there and retrace his steps. The neighbours say Gus Maxwell's away for a few days. Thanks. Farm supplies, that's what he was supposedly delivering. If you're planning on doing a runner, why would you deliver anything? Hmm. Looks like that's where he parked the truck. And there was another car. Like a panel van? Uh, maybe. Well, I reckon this is as far as he got. Better call it in. Tell him to bring spades.
Glad to see you. If it isn't Tim Lewis, find yourself a little hidey hole. Could have found somewhere a little more comfortable. And now we're both stuck. What? You try, you try, try climbing back out. You want to be your shoulders through. Great. Hello. Don't just smile, get a sore. We need to cut a bigger hole. Oh, Gus Maxwell paid me to install the tank. I had to climb in there to fit the centre pole and the seals. I think you're supposed to do that while the tank's still on its side. Hmm. Good thing we turned up when we did. The Maxwell's weren't due back for another week. Oh, God, it's bad. I've been stuck in there for a day. So neither Darren nor Cherry Walton had anything to do with you being trapped in the tank? Yeah, I, I don't know. I was inside the tank when I heard a car, car, car pull up. I, then I heard the truck start up and before I knew it, they'd driven away. I, I called out to them, but they mustn't have heard me. Oh, they chose to leave you there. You could hardly blame them after ripping off Darren and leaving I Cherry in the money. frame for your murder. I, I didn't know she'd get the blame. What, what, what else could I do? Could have turned yourself in. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened, but I had to put it all behind me, you know, just start again. Yeah, and how long was it going to be before you did the same thing to Brooke? No, 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 Brooke's, Brooke's different. You know, when I was stuck in there, she was all I could think about. D d does she know I'm all right? I mean, she, she, she doesn't think I'm... Please, I... Someone's got to call her. I, I, I've, got to, I've got to tell her the truth. Please, could we be alone? Ms Anderson has asked that we be here. I don't understand. I just came to give you this back. No, let, let me explain. Brooke... I know I lied to you, but it doesn't change how I feel. I don't know who you are. I, I am who I always was. Brooke, I love you. It's too late. But, but, but we're going to get married. We're going to have a family. There is no family. Not for us. Darren promised he wouldn't hurt Tim if I helped him get hold of the truck. Tim could have ended up with hypothermia. Yeah? It's no laughing matter. You risked his life leaving him in that tank. Well, I didn't know he was in the tank. Honest, I just dropped Darren off and kept on going. What did you think had happened? Well, I thought you might have been right. Darren could have bumped him off. And you didn't think it appropriate to share this with us? Yeah, well, he might be a mad bugger, but he's my brother. Couldn't dob on him. I just wanted to say thanks for everything, you know. Yeah, no problem. See ya. Anyway, time to hit the road. Yeah, drive safe. You didn't really believe that yarn, did you? You've rung Derek Hobson Constructions. We must be out of the office right now, but leave us a message. Derek, it's Jonesy. Uh, it's a pity you're not there, mate. Uh, listen, a few of the old crew and myself were going to go and have a pub crawl this weekend. And we thought that... Count me in, mate. Oh, good, you're there. Listen, mate, I've got someone else who wants a chat. Derek! It's Patrick Hashem. Well, you're a hard man to get hold of. So Derek is finally going to finish the house on the weekend. Well done. <laughs> Uh, they've um, taken Tim, Ryan, whatever his name is, back to Nell to face the music. Can we write it up? I need the report today. Was there something else? Well, I... I just wanted to say that... Yes? That 
maybe it was a good thing me getting involved and uh, yes, sometimes yes, my yes. approach works what did you say i said i agree with you you do you did a good job today parish so i'm not going to get an admonishment then Given the fact that Jaffa Bennett was taken into custody in Evanley a couple of hours ago, I don't really see the need. The inspector doesn't see it my way. He's recommended that I take disciplinary action against you. Right. 